You may have seen it all over Twitch. It's the storm that's taking over. Today, I am going to run, pun intended, through all of the rules for Kaizo Ironmon in all of its glorious forms. Mainly, these challenges are being run on Fire Red Leaf Green and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. There are always new games being added to this, so please make sure you keep a close eye on the new games being added. However, for this video, we're going to stick to the rules based on Fire Red Leaf Green and the Heart Gold and Soul Silver runs. Now, before we get started, I Ate Your Pie is not only the creator of this challenge, but he is the absolute pioneer to push this forward. So I want to give a massive thank you to I Ate Your Pie for bringing this to the Pokemon community. Just shut up! He has created a Discord group for all things related to this challenge. Troubleshooting help for any issues, a community to talk about it, and also talk about your runs. That link is in the description, and I strongly recommend that you join the Discord. I regularly stream on Twitch, and I'll be doing this challenge until I win, so please make sure you follow me on twitch.tv slash itsharrygames. So, the challenge is split up into three different difficulties. Standard Ironmon, Ultimate Ironmon, and Kaizo Ironmon. Each of them are variations of the overall challenge, starting with the easiest and getting harder as you go along. Firstly, let's discuss the Standard Ironmon rule set. You must randomize the game. All Pokemon movesets and items are randomized with trainer Pokemon and wild Pokemon levels being increased by 50%. On the Discord I mentioned, there also is a download that you can take in and add to your ROMs, which has all the randomized settings sorted for you. You only kill or catch one Pokemon per route, and it doesn't have to be the first one you see. Mainly, XP will come from trainers you fight. You can only use items that you find on the ground or that you are given. Shops are banned unless you want to buy Pokeballs or Repels. You can only carry six Pokemon at a time. You cannot put any Pokemon in the box. So you need to make sure that you release one if you're going to catch something. Once a Pokemon faints, it's dead and it cannot be reused. Once all party team members have died, it's game over and you have to go back to the lab, which is a reset and you must use another ROM. No legendary Pokemon in your team and anything you would class as legendary. The Lucky Egg and Sacred Ash items are banned. You cannot refight trainers at any point. You must select your starter Pokemon before making a selection. So let me give you an example. Let's say you want to see what's inside of the three Pokeballs. You must call out which one you're going for before you check any Pokemon. So for an example, I'm choosing the middle ball here. So I go and check all three, but regardless, I always choose the middle one. There is a favorites clause. Prior to starting every game, you can pick three different favorites. Now let's say for example, I choose Blastoise, Charizard and Venusaur. If one of those come up in the starting Pokemon selection, I can change and actually choose one of my favorites. There is a shiny clause, and yeah, if you find a shiny, you gotta kill it. Yeah, it's extra XP, don't complain about it. Lastly, don't be rude. You must talk to your mum when you start your journey. Always love your mother. This is key. I'm so glad you're here, Pikachu. Now, of these settings being hard enough, there are also a set of challenges that add to this. I'm not sure what I Ate Your Pie was thinking, but damn, he's making this tough. I'm so mad! This next set of difficult rules are for the ultimate Ironmon rule set. This includes the previous rules plus the following. No HM moves in battle. Once you enter a gym or dojo, you must defeat all trainers and you cannot leave until you get the badge. You either win or die. One shot dungeons. You can only enter the dungeon once unless the story requires a revisit. You can only obtain six Pokemon for the entire run. All Pokemon have fluctuating growth rates, except for legendaries, which are always set to slow. Leftovers and Soldew join the list of banned items. Battle mode must be placed on set, and if a Pokemon is about to evolve, you must let it happen and you are not allowed to use an Everstone. Now, some specific rules for Fire Red and Leaf Green will include, you must immediately fight your rival on the boat, before all other trainers on that boat. So this is talking about the SSN in particular. You must fight the rival in order to leave Lavender Town on the first visit. Also, you are not allowed to travel to the Sevi Islands with Bill before you beat the Elite Four. Now, look, these rules are incredibly hard, but for some reason, for people like me, I decide to opt in for the hardest challenge of them all, the Kaizo Ironmon, the hardest of them all. These additional rules are stupid. And yes, it actually does say that on the rule guide. These rules are non-negotiable and we want to know if you can beat it. Additional rules, including all that have already been mentioned for the Kaizo Ironmon are as follows. You can only have one Pokemon at a time. You can catch a new one at every new route, but you must state beforehand that you are going to commit to catch this new Pokemon for your run. You are allowed a HM slave 
and this you also must state before you catch it. So for example, let's say I have a Charmander as my starting Pokemon. I go to Route 101 and I find a Ninetales. If I intend to catch that Ninetales, I have to say I'm going to catch this and it's going to replace my Charmander. Once I do that, we make the switch, we pivot the new Pokemon in and that's it. There is no use of TMs or Move Tutors. You can only use TMs that you get from Gym Leaders. If you find any on the ground, you cannot use them. No uber strong Pokemon. You can't use Pokemon that have base stats, BST, of 600 or more. 599 is the limit and you are not allowed to use anything you would consider as a legendary or a mythical Pokemon. After you get the first badge, you may only catch a Pokemon that is equal to or lower than your current Pokemon's level. So for example, let's say I get to the first gym and I go to the wild and I find a Pokemon that's level 14 and my Pokemon's only level 12. I can catch this as I've not obtained the first gym badge. Anything after that first badge, the Pokemon you catch, if you want to pivot your Pokemon, must be lower than your Pokemon's level at the moment. No healing moves are allowed. Recover, Milk Drink, Drain Punch, Leech Seed, Refresh, Spore, Assist, any of these moves are off limits. However, Metronome is allowed. Banned abilities, huge power and pure power is banned. If it turns out your starter Pokemon has one of these banned abilities, you can beat your rival, but you must catch a new Pokemon to change over on the next route. Catching only, you are not allowed to kill wild Pokemon in this at all. If you accidentally kill a Pokemon that you wanted to try and catch, that is absolutely fine. But you must go back and try to catch it again and you are not allowed to leave that route before you get the Pokemon you're already committed to. No healing items outside of battle, but during battle is fine. The only held items allowed are evolution items and consumables like berries. Focus Sash is not allowed and that is banned. There is no Poker Center like healing in dungeons. When we say the word dungeon, that refers to anywhere you go into and you have to fight a load of trainers to get out. For example, Team Rocket Hideout. You are not allowed to use the flute or status healing items during battle or outside of battle. The Kaizo randomizer settings are slightly different as well. Static Pokemon must not have a level increase. You are not allowed to have Make Evolutions Easier activated. You must also force fully evolved Pokemon at level 30. You also have to add three additional Pokemon to your boss trainers. Boss trainers include gym leaders and your rival. So for example, on your second battle with your rival, he will have three additional Pokemon than he would do normally. So he has five Pokemon you have to defeat. You can use the move relearner, but you cannot relearn the same move multiple times. This is the complete rule set. Some people have done it, some are still trying. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and a comment down below to let me know. As I said, I stream on Twitch and I'll be completing the Kaizo Iron One, and I would love for you to join me. And also a huge shout out again to I Ate Your Pie for being a pioneer and creating this challenge for everyone to enjoy. Thanks for watching. If there's any questions that you'd like answering, stick them in the comments below and I'd love to know what you think of this challenge.